is talking about Heather Mills. Heather Mills has discarded her artificial left leg. The big talker tonight is Heather Mills. Who continuously plays a key role campaigning for the welfare of animals. She's made it her mission to make us all go vegan. Heather Mills is in the studio. She's launching a campaign to help reduce global warming by giving up meat. Heather Mills is a successful businesswoman and philanthropist and has been a passionate vegan for over 20 years, long before the lifestyle was popular like today. She initially began as a model before racking up a number of achievements. In order, I was an entrepreneur and a millionaire before I was 19 to help my family and then my mum died and I said, well, what's the point of having money? If, what do you need it for if you're not going to make a difference? So I ended up working in the war in the former Yugoslavia and then I ended up creating with the United Nations the biggest landmine clearing and prosthetic charity in the world um, in nine countries and we cleared uh, 21 million square metres of minefill land and fitted up over 400,000 people with limbs and then um, came back to England, didn't lose my leg in the war, madly, crossed the street here, lost my leg and then got introduced to veganism got plastered all over the newspapers and was made a role model for people with disabilities when there wasn't one and started to help amputees who'd lost legs from all sorts of reasons, from accidents to cancer. Um, and then when I lost my leg crossing the street and was healed by veganism, I started writing booklets for people to help heal them, which worked. And then I started developing products at home and in the kitchen and my dream was to have this vegan food company. Heather opened her first vegan restaurant in 2009 in England and now also has a pop-up in Austria. In addition, 2009 was the year she created vegan food company V-Bites, which is one of the biggest of its kind in Europe, selling over 50 meat-free products. It's very, very important to do meatless meats. You've got to be a realist. You get some very extreme vegans who go, why are you making fake meats and things that taste like meat? Well, I'm not making them for you, you're a vegan. I'm making them to convert the carnivores. Okay, that was model Heather Mills, who you may remember, tragically had to have part of a leg amputated as the result of a road accident in August. Today, though, Heather looks very fit and very well indeed, and she joins us. It's really good to see you. Thank you. And you look brilliant. I feel wonderful. That's great. It's really, really good. Now, everybody who's, who knew about your accident really admired your, your fighting spirit. I just wondered, really, what, what sort of keeps you going? It's basically a, a whole experience a new way of living. We teach you how to educate yourself and become independent. A man's got 250 diseases. Animals that herbivores have got anywhere between mm. 5 and 10. That's so good. why drink the milk of a cow when you can eat the things that they eat? If I'm honest, the biggest challenges have been the vegans. The carnivores that come in here, they just go, oh my god, this is great, and they've become meat reducers. The hardcore vegans have been the least supportive because they've gone, Oh, well, you shouldn't be making meat, this meats and this and that. There's a lot of anger in there. Um, and we're like, well, why? You don't have to eat it. You, we've got salads and all sorts of other stuff you can have. We want to feed the carnivores to get them off. Don't you want to help people get off? And then they go, oh, yeah, well, you know. And because a lot of them are new to it, they, they've had this conversion thing in their head and they come in and, and they complain all the time. It's unbelievable. So actually, the people that are meant to be on our side have been the biggest um, cause of problem. Heather's relationship with the media consisted of sustained attacks about her personal life, character and animal advocacy. Despite the backlash, she remained resolute. I went through all the hell with the media here. It was horrible and it destroyed a lot of our work. But if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have gone off to the mountains in Austria and changed my life. I would never have become a ski racer. I would never now have the world record um, in speed skiing. I wouldn't have won four gold medals. I wouldn't have, and that's all the dreams I had when I was a kid, but never had the privilege of a family that could support me in sport. So my dreams as a kid in sport were finally realized 40 years later. So if you really have those dreams, don't get disheartened and focus on it stay committed and you will achieve it. Heather started a professional career in alpine ski racing in 2010. In 2012, she won four gold medals at the US National Championships in Aspen for the British Disabled Ski Team, whilst also managing her charity work and vegan business. 
Everyone's actually asked me, how have you managed to run the vegan business and all these charities and everything? I'm very lucky with my time management. Whereas most athletes finish and rest, I go back into the office and then I get on with everything. And I believe the reason I've been able to do that is because I'm vegan, because I have a really healthy lifestyle. It's given me the energy um, to be able to do that. And I just have that tenacity. And, and I've seen that when you stick to something, and you just put out all the negativity and stay in a straight line on that path with any hurdles that come up, you succeed. Two areas that I'm most proud of is helping kids with disabilities. I've just come back from New York making a, a, an early learning development center for kids with special needs that I funded and just seeing them come out of themselves, seeing those kids do amazing things. All the animal side of stuff, I'm really proud of and clearing the world of landmines. Heather has worked tirelessly to raise awareness about landmines over the years. She is Vice President of the Limbless Association and was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1996. Heather's work to help amputees began following an accident with a police motorcycle in 1993 which resulted in the loss of her left leg. I'm asked a lot how have I overcome everything that I've gone through in my life. And I'd say the key message is that I've learned finally at my age is that the most shittiest things that happen in your life are what send you down a path to, to achieve the most amazing. Today, it's back to the day job. She's launching a campaign to help reduce global warming by giving up meat and dairy products. I spoke to her just a few moments ago and began by asking her what evidence she had to back up the claim. Well, the evidence isn't from me, it's from the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. And I was very, very and sadly surprised to hear that this report from them that 18% of global warming it comes from livestock and deforestation um, as a whole. And, and this how, has been how out is that for exactly, a year. How, how is that exactly? How can that be? Obviously when I said something I knew it was the right thing. It's just not my fault that it takes everyone so long to catch up. But it is a nice feeling when finally, you know, you've been called the nutter for so many years about, you know, health and, and animal rights and uh, environment and I wrote papers on this you know 20 odd years ago as you've said um, and everybody said I was crazy ignorance breeds fear and when people are ignorant of something they're afraid of it so they criticize and monuments were never built for the critics you know they were built for the criticize so you have to accept that when you're um, ahead of the game you're gonna get criticized for it and if you look at everybody in the history of making a change in the world, they were um, verbally and in much earlier times physically abused. That just goes par for the course. But I know I'll leave a legacy when I die that I um, helped create a huge vegan movement. I purposely try and be glamorous, try and dress up because I want to convert, you know, a young woman to, to see that you don't have to be you know, uh, Birkenstock wearing hippie. In this superficial world we live in, vegan needs to become hip and trendy and cool and fashionable. The only thing that makes a difference in life is coming up with solutions, not sitting around a table, judging and criticizing and talking about how dreadful a politician is or this person or that person. You can say that as long as you have the solution, as long as you can make the difference. Otherwise, spend that energy finding the solution yourself.